Hi, everyone. This is our overview session. Uh, so if you're totally new to all this, hopefully it'll pique your interest. Well, Actions on Google is the developer platform for the Google Assistant. Now, users are already coming to the Assistant to perform over 1 million actions. And they're performing these actions across a huge range of devices and contexts, from voice-enabled speakers like the Google Home, to phones, to Android Auto, to TVs, Chromebooks, and more. Bringing the number of devices where you can reach users to over 500 million. Actions are now available in 25 plus locales with more coming this year. It still takes some work and technical know-how to get up and running. And that's why we provide templates to get you started. No programming knowledge required. You can create fun and engaging conversational actions like personality quiz, trivia, and flashcards. All you have to do is come to the Actions console and follow a step-by-step -step wizard to get started with the template. Then you just fill out a Google Sheets spreadsheet with the content. Of course, I know most of you are developers, so that's never going to be satisfying enough. Google is going to give me this amazing tool for natural language understanding called Dialogflow. It turns that unstructured natural language input into a structured representation that my endpoint can consume. Dialogflow sits in the middle uh, between the assistant and my server, and it does that for me with hybrid machine learning powered intent matching and entity recognition. All right, so the way Dialogflow intents work is that you train them to listen for phrases that the user is going to speak in each turn of dialogue. And then each semantically similar set of phrases is called an intent, right? So with the power of machine learning, when the user says anything similar to the phrases you've provided, at any point in the conversation, Dialogflow is going to match that intent. And how am I going to account for the variation in the way each programming language is spoken? You know, programming languages have nicknames. Well, Dialogflow offers the feature of designating synonyms for each canonical value. But now the user is going to respond with a request to know about some specific language. Like, let's say they say, tell me about Kotlin. And this time, the Google Assistant is going to hand off directly to my action, because the user's already entered the dialogue. It's going to handle the uh, speech-to-text transcription. And Dialogflow is going to match the which language intent that I described earlier. But this time, instead of responding, it's going to reach out to my webhook hosted on Cloud Functions for Firebase. And it's going to dynamically pull information about that language and present it to the user. And we're also announcing something really cool that you've asked for for a long time. You can create alpha and beta versions of your actions that can be shared with a limited audience for feedback and iteration. Let's talk about how built-in intents can also help you get discovered. So as you can see here, there are, there are a ton of languages. There are dialects. There are cultural differences. There's slang that all make a million different ways to say the exact same thing. Built-in intents can provide a common taxonomy for actions across all of our Google surfaces. So in this scenario, for example, you'll see if somebody says, hey, Google, I want to start meditating, we can then suggest a few different actions that we know will serve as that need and are actually, indeed, meditation apps. So here are some of the built-in intents that we're working on this year. You'll see the ones that are start. We'll be soon in developer preview. So the last um, tool that I'll talk about today for discovery is called Action Links, which is an awesome tool to help you promote your experience. You'll see here in the Headspace example that we, Google, will actually promote these experiences in our own assistant directory, where a user can actually deep link directly from the app directory into your action on the device of their choice. Assistant Links is really, really easy to implement. You can simply generate a URL really quickly and then share across all of your channels. We will soon open up the ability for, for app developers to sell digital goods on the Assistant. This will work across both phone and voice surfaces. And we're thinking of three key use cases here as we launch this. In-app digital goods, subscription services, and lastly, digital media purchases. So what we know here is that people are creatures of habit. So we've identified some of these clusters and where the assistant can actually provide extra value. This new feature, Routines, lets users combine multiple actions into a single command. So daily updates are when Google can actually um, share a notification and pull an update at a specified time each day by the user. One example of this is you could get transportation or news alerts every single morning at the same time if Google understands that about you. Push notifications are really exciting because they can help you do things in real time. So things like getting stock alerts from your, from your favorite news publisher. The value to users is that it actually it helps give you access to relevant information, which is immediate, it's content rich, and it's specific to you. What's really valuable to brands and to some of you folks here as developers is that this can really help you enhance your utility as a partner to some of your users. So thank you, everyone, so much for having us. Enjoy the rest of your week.